Everyone out, please. In a few minutes, the year's biggest emerald auction will take place in Colombia. 90% of gemstones sold in the world are coming from here. Emerald is today the favorite gemstone of stars. It's at every fashion show and all jet set parties. Behind this glamour is a law-free business. In pursuit of the green diamond, we met the damned of the mine, digging with their bare hands. Yes, it's okay. Resellers, no invoices, no traces, all is paid in cash. 150,000, that is it. Here, take this. Besides official traders, there is a clandestine export channel. I prefer you leave me because I'll get through here. All right. I must not be questioned. They don't like cameras. Between Colombia and Europe, insight into a more profitable business, only gold and diamonds, and often with a net of tax. Bogota, the capital of Colombia, with 7 million inhabitants. My investigation starts here. Avenida Jemaines, one of the most important streets in the city. In the morning, some men engage in a strange business. They are called Esmeralduros, the emerald merchants. They're all over the avenue. Their gemstones are carefully packed in tissue paper. Emerald negotiations take place on the sidewalk. First country to produce emeralds, Colombia provides 90% of world production. These gemstones are the most beautiful and most famous. I have an appointment with Randolph, a trader I know. Maybe he'll help me get to the emerald mines, a forbidden and dangerous place. Randolph. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. How's business going? I'm negotiating a nice stone with my friend. I offered him a price. Do you want to see them? Do you have emeralds? Yes, I have some. We can negotiate. How much is this emerald? Three million pesos, or one thousand dollars. Do you have stones too? Yes. Can you show me? Randolph has purchased another more beautiful stone. It's very beautiful. Yes, it's worth 15 million pesos, about $5,000. Maybe Randolph can help me access Muso, the world's emerald capital in northern Colombia. I would like to film a mine in Muso. Could you help me? It will be difficult due to security reasons. I should go with you. Let me talk to my friend who owns the mine. He can authorize you. If I go without permission, what will happen? You might be shot and killed. You may be taken for a thief. It's about money. Everyone needs security there. Okay, Randolph, I'll call you to be updated. It'll be very difficult. If I get permission, that's great. Otherwise, it's needless going. All it's right. too risky. I'll call you. Okay, thanks. See you soon. As promised, Randolph called me that evening. He asked me to go to the Emerald Trade Center the next morning. His friend who owns a mine has agreed to meet me. Hello, I have an appointment with Mr. Camilo. I work as a journalist. You have to go to the security office. You cannot film inside the building. You need permission to do that. 
Outside you can, but not here. Going to the second floor, thanks. I am entering Saint of Saints. This is the biggest marketplace for Colombian gemstones. It's a very secure place. It's very difficult to access with a camera. We have an appointment with a mine owner who could enable me to film in Muso. Hi. Hello, I'm looking for Camila's office. Is that him? Camilo is busy negotiating. Hello. Don't bother yourself. I'm Theory Getton. Delighted to meet you. Do you mind if I use my camera? No. Go ahead. Camilo is negotiating a five-stone deal. How many carats is it? 184. Carat is the unit of measurement here, a fifth of a gram. I'm giving you the $11,000. No, Camilo, 11000 is too little. $14,000. We're not far. We're closer. Okay. Let's stop at 11000 Is it frequent, such a purchase? Yes, it is. We do that every day. No bank transfer, no check. Emerald business is cash payment. Where do these stones come from? From Muzo. It's for an order? Yes, for special customers. Local or foreign customers? Customers from Hong Kong. Hong Kong? China is the largest emerald market. Are you planning to take many stones to Hong Kong? Yes, about 5,000 carats. 5,000 carats, 1 million euros. Camillo hides his emeralds in a safe while waiting to export them to Asia. There, it's safe. He introduces us to a man in the office. He's my French friend. Is he French? Yes, yes. Are you a buyer? Yes, exactly. I come here to buy some stones. What's this one worth? Laurent is Franco-Colombian. He comes to Bogota to buy his stones, to resell them in Europe. This young trader has no company. He works on his own. Do you know anything about emeralds? A little bit. I live in Paris, France. I buy emeralds for special orders. For customers, individuals, or jewelers in Paris. Especially in Monaco and in Paris. I also have a few external customers. These ladies came to sell stones extracted from the country's mines. What's this stone in your hands worth? 15 million pesos per carat, roughly 5,000 euros per gram. It's What's the price the asked. Your hands worth? It's an 8 carat stone. So a stone is worth about 40,000 euros. How much? 40,000. So 40,000. It's negotiable. How much would you like to pay for it? About half. Less than 6 million. No, not under 10. Not under 10. Laurent discovers a lot of exceptional stones. It's a special kind that only exists in Colombia. Only in Colombia and nowhere else. Not in India, not in Afghanistan. In other producing countries, this emerald is not found. It's typical of Colombia. It's what makes the value. There are emeralds called trappages, as it looks like a mill. Lauren is interested, but he wants to bring down prices. Are you going to buy something? Not now. No business. Here, have to buy with patience and calm. When you can't find it, it's better to wait, not to rush. When I come here, I stay for at least two or three weeks. 
It's the least to do good business. Never rush into the goods. Camilo, the boss of the mine, returns. He has agreed to take me to Muzo, a forbidden territory. We are leaving the next morning. It's Randolph, the trader I met at the start of my investigation, who will go with me. He's off to buy emeralds. In his suitcase, there is more than 20,000 euros in cash. To go to the north of the country, he gets on a bus. How much is the ticket? 15,000 pesos. Okay, let's go. Randolph places his suitcase among other luggage, like an ordinary bag. Public transport is the safest way to avoid attracting attention. If all goes well, in five hours he'll be in Muzo. I'll see if I can buy something good. Are you presently armed? No, not now. After a three-hour drive, we are arriving in the Boyaca region. This is where the bus stops. From now on, Randolph will continue his way with his bodyguards. How are you, Samar? Are you okay? How are you? So how are you, Freddy? How is business? It's always so hot here. I'll take my jacket off. Is everyone okay here? Did you guys find any stones lately? Yes, sir. There were quite a few. Beautiful ones. Buy about the big one last time. It's sold. After the tar, the 4WD is on the track. Two more hours of driving to our destination. Nuzo, with 10,000 inhabitants, is the world's emerald capital. A dozen mines surround the city. 75% of emeralds sold in the world come from here. They are known to be the purest and the most beautiful on earth. Finally arrived. Hi, buddy. How are you? Good. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. Come on, let's go. Is it moving here? After a night's rest, Randolph and Ezekiel start serious issues. The Emerald Market is barely protected by a wire fence. It is held every weekend in the village square. Buyers and sellers trade gemstones, like carpet merchants do, Come on, 150,000 and they're yours. Go on, it's good. Sell it to them. Come on, sell them. I'm going. Are you letting me go? Come on, sell to him. Come on, sell it already. 150,000. I said 150,000. Take it, buddy. It pairs with this one. I need to make a pendant. Give me 140,000. Well, my last offer for this business is 120,000. Come on, my last word is no, 130. 120. Come on. A year ago, these stones were worth much less. But with increasing demand, prices keep on rising. As usual, 
payment is done in cash. All the stones traded here come from the mines surrounding the city. Mines are nestled in the depths of these mountains, which I will finally be able to enter the next morning. It's 5 a.m. I'm going up with the miners. The mines are seven kilometers away from the city. Most of them are privately owned. The day starts with a hearty breakfast offered by their boss. In a few minutes, workers will go underground and will work for eight hours without break. So, they start by gathering strength. Camelo, the boss of the mine, isn't here, but his director will receive me. Buenos dias. Hello, where is Mr. Soto, please? Over there in the office. Over there. Yes. Are you Mr. Soto? Good morning. Have a seat. Please. Pleasure. Fayeri Gaten. What can I do for you? I'm from Bogota on behalf of Mr. Camilo, who authorized me to visit his mine to film the work of miners. No problem. You can film the mines. Is it dangerous inside? There may be earth falls due to the weight on the beams. You would really not be lucky if, all of a sudden, a beam breaks. But no, it won't happen. Thanks a lot. Tell me what precautions to take. I think I have to wear boots. Boots, a helmet, and a lantern. Perfect. Thanks a lot. The siren rings. It's time to work. But before entering the mine, they have a daily ritual, a prayer. It is the director who acts as a priest. Hello, gentlemen. Let's thank God for this new day. Please, take off your helmets. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Almighty God, we thank you for this day. We ask you to enlighten us, to protect us, bless our families as well as ourselves. We ask you to make this day special, so that we can bring the fruits of our labor into our homes. God bless us. Three years ago in Muzo, a landslide caused four deaths buried under cubic meters of soil. It's 7 a.m. The extraction begins. The mine goes straight into the mountain rock for about a kilometer. The hose is barely over one meter wide. The heat is unbearable. Oxygen is scarce. It's okay. It's coming out. Is that where the air goes? Actually, it's for the jackhammer. And what's the use of this hose? It's so we don't choke. Come on. Come on, guys. At the bottom of the hose, dust burns the lungs. Miners know that emeralds are inserted into white stones. For now, the rock is black. They have to keep digging, but the jackhammer no longer works. Time has come to use big means. 
Who are you calling? The specialist to bring dynamite. This is where I keep the powder. Dynamite? Yes, dynamite. I take four, which then I put here. I take four more. Thanks to the dynamite, they hope to dig 60 centimeters of rock in a few seconds. Don't panic. Calm down. Don't run. Don't panic. Go there, on the other side. And where are we going? Over there. Come on guys, let's go. Are you going to find some stone? Hopefully, we will find a vein. What's a vein? A vein is where you find stones. It's beta, a white stone in which emeralds are found. It's what we seek. These miners earn a fixed salary of about 100 euros per month. The rest is up to the commission, based on the emeralds they extracted. They have not found a single stone for four months now. They hope that this time the mine will be generous. This area is completely sterile. We're moving forward. When do you know that you found an emerald while digging? They appear stuck in the stone, but it shines. The color is brilliant. I use a hammer to be able to look carefully. Without that, it will be very complicated. You still have nothing? No, it's a bad stone. No, none, not here. You have to keep moving until you find it. They have to remove the rubble continuously. Look, tons of rubble. How many carts do you take out per day? We take out 20 to 25 carts daily. Each cart weighs nearly 500 kilos. With dust, it slips. Why did you choose to work in the mine? What can I say? There's nothing better here. That's what most people do here. Are you from the region? Yes, sir. Diego just turned 18. He is the youngest miner. It's his first week at work. Did you leave school? I just got my high school diploma. I couldn't continue. Why not? It's not that I didn't want to. It was not possible. My parents are too poor. They need my help. These rubble will be removed by trucks. For the boss of the mine, they have no value, but they are not lost for everyone. On the other side of the hill, a man is watching. His name is Ovidio. At this hour, we're on the lookout. Once we see the truck passing by, we go. We sit there because from here, you can see when it comes out. As soon as it arrives, we go.
I have to go. The first truck is leaving. It's down there. Where? Down there. It's the truck that brings in the rubble. A video isn't the only one waiting for the waste. Hundreds of people are storming. They are called gaqueros, the treasure hunters. They dig through the rubble with the hope to find emerald dust that will change their lives. The rules are simple. Men on one side, women on the other. Five trucks are unloaded on each side. And nobody moves until the last truck leaves. It's the bag for my gemstones. Do you hope to find emeralds? Of course, we all hope so. I've been here for 25, 25 years now. 25 years, and you live on this? Yes, sir. So what does that give you? Nothing. Haven't made a fortune. Sometimes I earn a little bit. I'm ready. It all depends on God and luck. By His grace, we get it. Otherwise, we have to keep fighting here. Since when? Have you been a treasure hunter here? About 30 years. The last truck just finished emptying its dumpster. Let the rush begin. Are you okay, Ovidio? Yes, yes. No time for more discussion. For these damned of the stone, the priority is to fill your bag. In a few minutes, there will be nothing left. For women, it's the same thing. Is it heavy? Yes, it's really too heavy. Once the bags are packed, another job begins. We have to wash and filter, hoping to spot even the slightest emerald dust. Ovidio has just found a tiny stone. Like all Gaqueros, he keeps it in a safe place. <laughs> Why do you put it in your mouth? To avoid it being misplaced. In the pocket, it gets lost. That's why it has to be kept in the mouth. A video is not the only lucky one. Thanks to God, we're hustling. It's not worth much, but it buys rice. It can buy me a drink. Even if one gets a million, we always say it's for a drink here. Have you found anything? No, haven't found anything. Look at this little stone. It's not much, but I didn't waste my time. Do you find them every day? No, not all the time. At the end of the harvest, traders begin to roam. That's it. It's sold. He'll give me seven euros, but he's still doing business. We're two. We're going to share. Any interest for buyers? Here, people buy at the lowest prices due to the people's misery. How much? We are five. We are five, so give us 15 euros. Finally, how much did you buy it for? 10 euros. Did you buy other stones? No, it's the first. Are you doing good business here? Of course, but today, there is not much. Ovidio has finished digging in the dust. His two little emeralds will be bought for a pittance, 15 euros approximately.
They will be worth hundreds of euros in jewelry, set on a ring or pendant. Are you happy? Yes, of course, even if it's not much. Ovidio and the Gaqueros will be back tomorrow to try to find other little emerald shards that will help them to survive. Less than a kilometer away, the mood is even more tense. The army patrols the roads. The whole region is under control. On this road, these are not tiny emeralds that will leave soon, but the most beautiful on Earth. We need to find Camilo, the boss of the mine. He owns a house on the heights of Muzo. Good morning. How are you? Camilo is armed too, and for good reason. In his satchel, his fortune in cash. In a few minutes, he will find the other mining bosses. All the Emerald Barons are going to meet for the biggest sale of the year. But first, he has a last little formality to complete. It's the Virgin of Carmel in Chiquinquira, the village next door. She is the patroness of all Colombians. She is a miraculous virgin. We honor her because we are all Catholics. Camilo invited Lauren, the Franco-Colombian trader, to accompany him. Bye, Mom. Goodbye, son. May God and the Virgin protect you. Come on, let's go. Camilo is escorted by a second 4WD with his bodyguards. It's the road to Muzo. Here millions of euros circulate every day. Millions of euros of Colombian emeralds. It's in these offices, guarded like a fortress, the sale will hold. You cannot enter without being invited. Hi, Jose. Hi, Camilo. I'm sorry, but it's only you who's coming in. Don't worry. He'll be out later. Captain, are you okay? A high-tension meeting. Added to the army, the mine owners brought in private militias and even helicopter. All barons are here. These men look like nothing, but produce three quarters of the emeralds sold in the world. Each weighs several tens of millions of euros. Although it is forbidden to carry arms, they all took their precautions. They hide their guns, but they have them. They all have guns in their bags. William will preside over the auction. Are you in charge of this sale? Yes, sir. How will it happen? We're going to start by showing the emeralds in our mines. We have an internal sales system. All mine owners have brought their most beautiful stones. Only one of them will buy the whole lot to market it. The auction will start soon. All right, come on. Nobody has ever succeeded to film them, except me. I am allowed to go up. The only person you're filming is me. You don't film the others. Let's start unpacking. Here are the 7,500 carats. They're just from the trunk. This bag has one and a half kilo of emeralds. The auction will start at 850,000 euros. While I'm unpacking, I don't want to see anyone put hands together. Buyers can examine the merchandise. These emeralds will end up with the greatest jewelers or wealthy businessmen in Hong Kong, Moscow, New York, or Monaco.
I'm asking you kindly. I'm in Wissy. I'm going to expose there, but don't touch them. How many are there? 246. I don't want you to start touching them one after the other. Don't worry, everyone will be able to see them. We will organize ourselves. Everything is ready. All is checked. Carrots are recounted. The sale must be flawless. At the slightest dispute, the situation could escalate quickly. Now, only buyers can stay. The others, please outside. It's impossible to stay longer. The auction is starting. I joined Laurent, who was not allowed to mentor. The auction will last all night. Finally, one and a half kilos of emeralds will leave at 2,620,000 euros. Once cut, they will be three times more expensive. After buying for several days at the Muso market, Randolph, the trader, is going back to Bogaga. But first, he does his accounts. How was your stay in Muso? I'm delighted because I bought two nice lots. This one has a nice color. This one is slightly poorer, but... I'm packing because I have to go back to Bogota. There are many stones. How much did you pay for all? Between 18,000 euros, 20,000 euros. Once cut, they will be three times expensive. This small lot, which is less good, cost me 2,000 euros. With all these goods, no need to return to Bogota by bus. Randolph returns to his offices in the capital, escorted by his bodyguards. Hi, Pasio. Is everything all right? A last sign of the cross before hitting the road. If the trip goes hitch-free tomorrow, he'll get his stones cut before selling them to jewelers. In Bogote, in an apartment in the north of the city, we meet Laurent, the French buyer. Today, he is returning to Paris. The flight will be ready in three hours, so we're starting soon. I'm packing my things, putting things in the suitcase. I will be ready to leave soon. Is this what you bought in Muso? Absolutely. Partly in Muso and Bogot. Here, we have a gang. A beautiful emerald gang. This one has a market value of about 800 euros. 800 euros to 900. I bought it for about, let me think, 400 euros, I think. Approximately. He keeps low value stone in his suitcase. Which are those that can't be cut? Souvenirs for tourists. These stones have little value. So I put them in this bag. I'm going to invoice roughly in line with the price here in Colombia. Typically, it should not exceed 1,500 euros in total. For the customs declaration, even if I get searched, there should not be any problems or anything. If it is for cut stones, that it is a bit more problematic. Right now, cut stones are coming. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Hey, how are you? Sorry. How are you? Fine, thanks. So you bought in the stones? Yes. Is he bringing you stones? Yes, those are the cut stones I bought. 
They'll supply me here. I don't need to travel. It avoids. It avoids risks in Bogot. Is it for security? Yes, for security reasons. I prefer them back to me. This is the oval stone I was waiting for. It's 10 carats, a nice crystal. It is a stone that is worth about 1,500 euros per carat. It is a very, very pure stone. We have 10 carats, and that stone is worth about 15,000 euros. This one is sold. I'm taking it to Monaco. I'll be back to Paris with it before taking it directly. I'll buy a flight ticket to Nice and bring it back to my client. The most exceptional piece is this emerald in the shape of a heart. It's a 26 carat stone. It's a pretty gem, you see, on a woman's chest that would look great. This stone, the fact that it's very big, it can easily be worth 2,000 euros. 2,000 euros per carat. Yes, per carat. What's the cost of the one in your hands? About 50,000 euros. In total, Laurent will bring back to France 100,000 euros worth of emeralds. They will be worth twice as much on the market. Gemstones are taxed at 20%. If he declares them, he will have to pay 20,000 euros. In order not to pay this amount, he's going to smuggle them into France. Is it not risky to have them in your pockets when crossing the border? Risk-free. It's not drugs. There are 11 stones, commercial quality, that sell well in Europe for standard jewelers. Or small customers who would like a nice ring for their girlfriend. The most important are in the pocket. I keep them close to me to avoid losing them. We just have to pack. If caught, he risks a fine of 50,000 euros, half the total value. Bogota Airport. The 1,500 euros worth of precious stones are in his suitcase. So you sent the suitcase. That's it, it's gone. They're on their way to France. Do you still have your stones in your pocket? Yes, of course. Can I see? Do you want to see the small packages? I have to remember in which pocket I put it. A bit of stress, no? Two envelopes. No, no stress. On the contrary, I have peace of mind, no anxiety. To cross the border, you have to be quiet. Relax with a smile. No worries. See you in Paris. Yes, you will. No problem. See you in Paris. I prefer you leave me now because I'm going to go. I don't want to have to be questioned. They don't like cameras. Goodbye. See you soon there. Thanks. See you soon. See you in France. Yes, in Monaco. Principality of Monaco, few days later. The richest city in the world. The greatest fortunes on earth are found here. Laurent entered France without the slightest problem. He arrives on La Rocher with an associate. Did your stay end well? Yes, it was wonderful. The hassle-free return to customs. Everything went as I planned it. We'll supply the stones. We have an appointment with a client. The appointment is in a bar. The customer wants to remain anonymous. How are you? Well? Hello. Great. How did the trip go? Impeccable. Very well. The road. How did you do it? In the car of Elaine. Meet Elaine, my partner. How did it go? Great. Impeccable. Everything went as planned. I brought back the stones, no worries. The import went as planned. Great. I have everything you need. Let me show you. I did not bring a rag. It's not too bad. Let's get it out.
Oh, yes. That's it. That's the seven carat one. That's 1738, it's clearer. The lower the light, the brighter the color. Yes, I see. It's the green we were seeking. We have this oval one. This stone is really beautiful. It is pretty, and it's very pure. There's nothing in it. I have certificates for each stone. Do you like these stones? It's exactly what I expected. In terms of weight and purity, that's what I wanted. It's really what I was looking for. They are really beautiful. This buyer works for wealthy businessmen. They are people who want to invest their money. So, for that one, in general. Afterwards, you can have other types of clientele. Jewelers are looking for these goods. They have customers who need stones, including emeralds from Colombia. They are the best. For me, they are investors. Right now, the investment stone market is booming. Many people want to make reliable and secure investments in gemstones. Many people invested in gold when it was interesting, in real estate. Today, we are in a delicate situation at this level. Gemstones have become an interesting investment, including emeralds. It increases in value between 7 and 10 percent each year, following the opening of the Chinese market. Colombian diamonds are rare, much more than, for example, a normal diamond, which is not rare at all. The price increases and is valued every year. It's an attractive investment for those who have money to spend to simply invest. These goods in a safe do not take up space. Its value increases. It's an interesting investment. Here is a 7.20 carat stone. A 10 carat stone. A 17.35 carat stone. How much is the total amount? I find it a bit difficult to say. It's a bit tricky. There are approximately between 40 euros and 60,000 euros worth of merchandise. It's a deal. The intermediary will pay in cash as usual, net of taxes. These stones should be worth an additional 3,000 euros in a year. He takes the opportunity to try to sell his pretty heart. I wanted to offer it to you. It might interest your customers. Of course, there are customers for this kind of stone too. How many carats? 26 carat. 26.24. It's something I can suggest. How much do you want to sell it for? I'm asking for 1,500 euros per carat. In total, how much is it worth? There are 26 carats. You have to multiply by 26. That's about 50,000 euros. Roughly, just under 50,000 euros. The price is still very fair. For a European market, that is correct. Is it the same price, place Vendome, you think? No, definitely not. Afterwards, it's up to the jewelers to do their job behind the scenes. But no, this price is negotiable. It is not a price you will find in the end, once it is assembled for a piece of jewelry. That's for fine jewelry anyway, because of 26 carats on a Colombian emerald. Especially when it looks like a heart, it's pretty peculiar. There are customers for that, obviously. 1500 euros per carat is not expensive. Ultimately, the buyer does not buy the pretty heart, nor any of the other lots. He's satisfied with the three stones provided. Negotiation is over. Laurent is satisfied. Okay, listen, it was nice meeting you. Glad to have seen you again. Goodbye. Thanks, and good luck. Will you send me a message? Let's keep in touch for the heart. And no problem. See you soon, take care. See you soon. Was it a nice deal? It went well, just as I expected. Yes, it's a great deal. Everything went as planned. Now we're going back to Ness. There I'll meet a customer for stones. From there afterwards, I will go back to Paris to home. It's a nice day.
A few weeks later, Laurent will sell his heart for 32,000 euros, less than the 50,000 expected. It's still a 25% profit on the Colombian price. The emerald market is booming. In 2016, Colombia exported 27% more stones than in 2015. 60% went to the United States. But in pursuit of the green diamond, there are no figures on parallel market sectors. 